Just days out from the Australian Grand Prix, F1 superstar Daniel Ricciardo went for a training run along Melbourne's iconic tan track. But this was preparations for another big race entirely. Ricardo teaming up with surf iron man Matt Poole to promote Wings for Life World Run, which raises funds to find a cure for spinal injury. 35 cities across the world, um, so I think the Melbourne legs at like 9pm at night on uh, 3rd of May, and I think like the west coast of America is 1 or 2am in the morning, so it's, it's literally everyone runs at, at the same time, and it's a week before uh, my Formula 1 race in Barcelona, so I'll be taking part in, in a European uh, city. It's certainly not your average charity run, with a finish line which pursues you. It's physically impossible not to finish this race. The idea in the, behind the run is to stay in front of the, the chase car, which leaves 35 minutes after the gun goes. So you only run as far as you can go, because once that car catches you, you're out. Two ambassadors who have suffered spinal injuries were also present to bring their personal stories to the cause. I had a snowboarding injury nearly 15 years ago, um, I broke my neck from C5 to T1, um, destroyed most of the bones and was told that I'd never walk again at the age of 18. I had a spinal cord injury five years ago diving into a swimming pool in Bali and I, on behalf of everyone with a spinal cord injury, am involved in this amazing initiative because who with a spinal cord injury doesn't want to find a cure. But of course, Ricardo couldn't escape questions about this weekend's big race, which kicks off the Formula One season. I, I had a good year last year and I'm still young. Like it's a sport where you constantly develop and grow and, and keep learning. So, you know, personally within myself, obviously I can't control everything that happens on the outside, but within myself, I can't see any reason why I would not be as good as last year. So, um, you know, I feel I just got to keep building on what I, what I did and, no need to change too much, uh, you know, obviously it worked, so, you know, not, not like I'm getting uh, complacent or anything, but just keep chipping away and, and keep building on what I, what I know already. Obviously I got, got a taste of the podium last year, but uh, this year I'd love to taste it again and uh, keep that taste uh, <laughs> in my mouth a little longer. <laughs> and when he was asked if there were any spots in Melbourne, he looks forward to spending time. It's good just to be back on, on home soil. I mean, obviously I'm, I'm from Perth, but I've been away from Oz for, for quite a few years now. So home is, is I call home Australia now. It's, um, so whether it's Melbourne or anywhere else, it, it still feels good. The air is, is clean. It feels nice to breathe in and uh, it's just got a good, good feel about it. So, um, you know, home for me here is, is the racetrack Albert Park. And uh, I don't feel, or there's no place I feel more comfortable than in, in the car. The Wings for Life World Run will take place in Melbourne on the 3rd of May. With more than 40,000 participants already registered globally, head online to sign up and take a step in the right direction for finding a cure.